Greetings, viewers and listeners of Meat Hook Jim, the Wrestle Horror Podcast. With me, as always, my co host, Donnie Hoover. Donnie, today is Saturday, April 9th. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to go up on Monday, April 11th. Yep. And then we're going to be someplace Friday and Saturday next week. Oh, the yeah. Squ the Squared Circle Expo. It's coming up fast. Oh yeah, like I said, it's uh the the season we got the Arnold out of the way and the season's uh starting to kick in. We got a lot of stuff on the books and and planned that we're going to be doing, and it's starting with the Squared Circle Expo. So we're pumped. Oh, uh, definitely. And you know, last year failed to get video. We're not going to do that again. We got everything ready. We got the rig. We got the microphones. We're going to have video for you next show two shows something like that anyway uh -huh. we're going to be doing a lot of videos so you're not just going to hear us talking to the superstars you're actually going to see it too bad the headbangers aren't going to be there again because that was funny oh yeah yeah too bad we didn't get that on video that's a thing <laughs> that and, and shauna reed and the boogeyman yeah <laughs> yeah for sure um but we'll probably pretend like he's around there someplace maybe we can get her again <laughs> this time around uh but oh i'm excited what a guest list this year oh yeah yeah they got a they got a stacked card it was stacked last year it they, they, looks like they're bringing even more out this year so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to it yeah i mean definitely it's probably at least a third more superstars than they had last year oh yeah yeah easily i mean i'm gonna guess what 20 to 30 maybe at least <laughs> right and Matt, man it's just it's a who's who i mean mm -hmm. wwe nonwithstanding, lots of aew impact uh indie stars just all over the place um yeah yeah just say you know all kind of different it's like brooke hogan you know she's not an active wrestler but yeah she's going to be there because she's brooke hogan and yeah there's a lot of people like that you know i say dan housing that he's got me kind of excited to meet him i've never met him in person yet so dan housing is going to be fun and you know like i said there's a lot of them on this list that i'm looking forward to talking to um and i just found out today that uh I will be participating in a photo op with our friend Mikey mm -hmm. uh, with Hangman Adam Page. Nice. Current AEW world champion. There you go. Can't beat that. Oh, no, man. I'm, I'm excited about that. It's going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get a word with Rikishi, too, because he's uh, he's actually my mom's uh, favorite wrestler. And, you know, she's no longer with us and all that. So it'll be kind of cool to see if i could get a word with him and just to let him know that you know that that she was uh his favorite he was her favorite wrestler when she was living <laughs> so that'd be kind of neat uh you know not only wrestling stars but i mean we've got uh probably one of the best interviewers out there who also does a podcast chris van vliet mm -hmm. yeah he's all over the place with wrestling and especially aew and uh, yeah Along with that, we, there's uh, Alicia Tout. I mean, she's been doing this for a long time as well. So, oh yeah, not just the wrestlers, but it's other kind of talent. Um, even uh, I think Marty Elias. Yeah, Marty Elias, former WWE re uh, referee, is going to be there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he was there last year too, as well, wasn't he? If I remember right, I think so. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. he was. Yeah, I think he had did a seminar or something. Yeah, but. I mean, it yeah. is just, it is a stacked card. I mean, oh, yeah. Young stars, old stars, and everything in between. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Steamboat, Ted DiBiase. Yep. Lex mm -hmm. Luger. Oh, yeah. All kind of, all kind of. Um, JBL. He, that'd be a good one to talk to. Yeah. JBL. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys listening get the opportunity to come out to this because it is going to be off the chain. And not only will be will we be doing interviews with wrestlers and vendors, but we also have a booth there. So mm -hmm. you, know, you got to come by and see uh, the Wrestle Horror booth along with New Ohio Wrestling. We're going to have our Arnold's uh, 
sports festival champion with us onyx yep superman onyx will be there with us so it's gonna be a fun weekend it is uh you know come by the booth get your picture taken with our very own wrestle horror belt uh -huh. yeah we're bringing out all the belts we're gonna we're gonna see how many of the new ohio belts we can get there and we're gonna have the wrestle horror belt our fitness belt our wrestle fit belt we're bringing that so it's gonna be a lot of fun it'll be a belt but there's gonna be enough room on the table with all the belts. <laughs> all right <laughs> you have to have a security guard just to guard them all yeah and you know come by and see us you know if you've heard the show let us know tell us how you feel about it if you haven't heard the show why not yeah start we'll give you a card start listening to it yeah we're definitely uh, open to the suggestions yeah and if you've got it for those of you that have heard us before if you've got feedback right wrong or indifferent we need the feedback to make the show better for you guys yep absolutely we got there's, thick skin we can take it <laughs> yeah if there's something we're not covering that you'd like great if there's something you don't care for let us know yeah how many more episodes do you want us to talk about the conjuring you know let us know that <laughs> uh, uh, but don't don't hurt me please <laughs> do not hurt me i i tried you notice i didn't bring it up in the last recording we did yeah you did good i came close <laughs> uh when he is talking about his wife and insidious and everything he's like oh shut up jim <laughs> you saw that yeah. door opening didn't you <laughs> i did and i closed it <laughs> i'm sorry i'm excited about that oh i am too i am too and i'm sure our listeners are jim shut the hell up <laughs> we know we know jim we know all right <laughs> come up to the booth and tell me jim shut up there you go <laughs> um we look forward to it uh all the all the wrestlers all the fans, you know, and vendors, you know, it, squared circle, the organizers really hit a, a home run last mm -hmm. year. When they first brought it out because what an amazing show that was. And this one's going to be even bigger. Oh yeah. Yep. Like I said, it's a good time. Like I said, everybody's friendly and, and gets along. And like you said, even the fans, you know, we enjoy talking with the fans and having fun with them and, you know, doing some shenanigans and all that. So yeah, like I said, we're just going to go in there and do whatever, but, yeah, have some fun with it. Yeah. And you never know who you're going to meet in the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have some elevator stories. It's usually hard, especially with that many people, it's going to be hard not to. <laughs> all right. I'm putting my hand up to meet Scarlett Bordeaux, Bordeaux in the elevator. Well, there you go. <laughs> just to say you rode an elevator with her, huh? Well, I'll I'll sit there at the corner waiting for her to go up. Then I'll pop. It up. <laughs> and then we can make out our new conjuring after we do conjuring. Then it could be like, remember that time I was in the elevator with Scarlett Bordeaux? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, have we talked about that yet? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, just, you know, I talk too much sometimes, but. Oh, no. that'd be, that'd be like me getting in the elevator with Kane Hodder. I'd probably, I'd probably bring that up every episode. <laughs> <laughs> well we're gonna to have to arrange that sometime just just right. <laughs> take just to fade some of the heat off of me I mean. <laughs> so who are you most who do you really want to meet there donnie i mean um the kid in me wants to meet a lot of the old stars for sure and uh and which you know and also he's an old star as well but the business person in me and wrestling promoter i, I kind of want i think my most anticipated one is al snow i would i would love to just be able to sit there and just pick his brain about you know how to you know grow promotion and how to you know like his 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 school and stuff he's got his university that interests me you know how he runs his promotion interests me you know how he educates you know just picking his brain getting as much knowledge out of it as i can and, uh, you know, cause that's just like where my head's at. I'm always trying to learn, always trying to make things better. So, I mean, I think he's, he's probably my most, uh, anticipated one, to be honest. And then, you know, like I said, fan wise, which of course I loved him as a fan, you know, as well. And then, uh, you know, but that, and all, of course, you know, Ricky, the dragon, you know, you know, Scarlet Bordeaux, of course, you know, and, uh, cause I know she wants a picture with me, you know, she's, you know, I can just tell. I can just see it in her eyes. <laughs> uh, Matt Cardona, he's a, he's a good one. 
And I just, yeah, I just like to talk like wrestling figures and stuff with him on that. You know, I think that'd be a good conversation. So, I mean, quite a few. All right. Uh, well, you know, uh, one of the ones at top of my list is Lex Luger. I mean, uh, yeah, I watched Lex at, at, at his height of his career and uh, he, him and, and Ricky Steamboat, definitely Ted DiBiase, a lot of the old school. But uh, if I want to go to, I want to say there, I don't know, Crazy Steve from Impact. Always wanted to meet him. I know the wife has. Yeah. Um, you know, the beautiful people I've met, Angelina Love, haven't met Velvet Sky yet. So that's on my bucket list. Yeah. And then there's Mickey James um, and Sabu from ECW. Mm hmm. You know, and then Shark Boy, you know, we've met Shark Boy before. He's always entertaining. And oh, yeah. Oh, shell. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like I said, there's a ton of them on here. Uh, the Steiner brothers. Yep. Current Hall of Famers just inducted. So, I mean, if you guys want to see this whole list, if you haven't made your plans yet, go to squaredcirclex.com and go to the guest list. Right. Uh, and don't, don't forget the, uh, the wrestling show on Saturday night, uh, Reckoning. Mm -hmm. What a stacked card. That is 10 matches. Oh yeah. Uh, and I had it up and it disappeared on me. Yeah. Well, I mean, while you're while you're hunting that again, I mean, like the vendors, we don't really talk about the vendors that much, but you know, the vendors are a big part of conventions too. And there's like a ton of them. There's wrestling promotions, there's uh comics, you know, comic and collectibles. I mean, there's gonna be podcasters like us, and you know. There's like merchandising, you know, posters, I mean, just music, all kind of different stuff. And I mean, it's going to be very cool. And that's kind of one of the things I'm looking forward to as well as I kind of want to like roam the vendor booths. I didn't get a chance to do it much last year. So I want to try to do it more this year, but I just kind of want to roam the, you know, the booths and just chat it up with all the people in their booths and stuff for a little bit. Sure. Oh, definitely. I mean, a lot of great vendors last year. Some didn't make sense. Most did. Uh -huh. like i bought a darth vader funko pop yeah. well i almost bought back that jason Voorhees collectible if you remember but it was too much they wanted like 120 bucks or some shit for it and i was like no nah, i'm good it's like, it's like i love him but not that much <laughs> uh, and you know i've got some great uh prints of uh of sting that i bought last year by some a very talented artist uh -huh that are actually hanging up on my wall in my studio right now yeah i think he's going to be back there i can't remember the name i'm looking yeah albert moore maybe was it albert moore was that who it was i think so because they're showing him that's he's going to be there aj moore yeah it's going to mm -hmm. be so yeah so he'll be back there i'll have to look and see if they got some good stuff you know for me oh he does he, he does great i mean his drawings are really cool I can't see it because of my background, but there's one behind me of uh, NWO Sting. Yeah. With the red face paint. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Reckoning, Squared Circle Expo, I found the card. All right. All right. Um, and it's like, it's 10 matches. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to read the whole card, but the SCX Championship is current champion jake omen versus matt cardona will matt cardona add another belt to his collection yeah he's on a hot streak lately so you never know uh you got lord crew ver versus nick aldis former mm -hmm. heavyweight champion yeah uh you got brian myers and swoggle versus jack vaughn and lightning tim lutz yeah there you go um shane douglas versus sergeant ledbetter there's an sx scx tag team championship shark boy and fuego del sol versus heath and rhino uh -huh. and that's just a few of the matches and like i said there's 10 matches total it, it's a really good card that's going on here and there's some local indie talent that are wrestling some national televised talent so wow oh yeah 
Yeah. And that's kind of a neat mix. You don't see that a whole lot. You know, usually it's, you know, the stars versus the stars, so to speak, but yeah, they're taking like an indie guy and putting it with a guy that's, you know, got some name value. And, and I think that's very cool. Yeah, I do too. And in most matches, that's the way it is. I mean, mm -hmm. so well, I, I can't wait to see that. Uh, my friend Mikey bought me, me and Chris tickets to go see that. So nice. Very cool. The nice thing is, is after the show, I can just get in the elevator and go up to my room. Yep. There you go. It's, it's nice. <laughs> You'll like it. <laughs> so, so that's, you know, that's squared circle coming up. I mean, mm -hmm. Ed, Ed and Adolfo really, really busted their asses to, to put together a great show. And I, I'm sure it will be. Oh yeah, for sure. So let's talk about what else is going on with new Ohio wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's got a we got a busy, busy uh, summer and and fall, early fall coming at us uh, here in the next few weeks. Um, May May the fourteenth. We and like I said, a lot of these, a couple of them we've already had signed for a while. A couple of these you just we just recently got. Uh, so the, and this is one of them. May fourteenth is Rosemore Middle School in Whitehall, Ohio. And it's a, a benefit we're doing. It's a fundraiser for the athletic department. And uh, the Whitehall uh, schools is alma mater to our own uh, half pint punk Eric Smalls. So um, it's going to be, you know, neat to get in there and and uh, let Smalls get in there and, and see some of his people he's grown up with and all that. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But it's May 14th at the Rosemore Middle School in Whitehall, Ohio, and at, uh, bell time is at 5 p.m. And uh, so, yeah, so it'll be an early Saturday night. We'll be out of there at eight o'clock and everybody will be home early. That me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so have you. <laughs> so, but yeah, so like I said, we got that going on and, and they're uh, interested in doing another one in the fall and uh, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, they want to do one possibly in the fall. So we may have another announcement with doing one with the high school, maybe. So we'll just have to see how that goes and see if that pans out or not. And then, uh, you know, like I said, this is going to be an OBET summer for us. And uh, we've partnered up with OBETs on three different occasions now, uh, two of them. They're calling it Full Throttle Thursdays. It's basically like a, uh, like a little festival on Thursday nights. And, you know, they're going to have like car shows, motorcycle shows. They're going to have uh, food trucks, a little bit of vendors. And they're going to have some entertainment, some live bands, local bands. And on two of those, it's going to be every Thursday starting in May. And two of those Thursdays, New Ohio Wrestling is booked to be there. Um, we're going to be doing a show on June the 16th. And that's a Thursday again. And then the next Thursday that we're going to be doing is July 14th. And those shows are going to run 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's a three-hour festival, just like a little thing they do. And uh, like called, it's called Full Throttle Thursdays at the Obets Fortress or Fortress Obets. So that'll be something neat, you know, come out and, and hang out with us. So we're going to have, uh, you know, some good cards and stuff on that. And uh, the next one is, you know, we're, we're going back to the Zucchini Fest with Obets. I was contacted by you know, last week by them and, and they said they want us back. So we're going to be back on that, that five Monday again, September the 5th. So we will be there for the zucchini fest uh, Monday, September 5th. We'll be there all day. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Just like last year, we came in, we did like 11 matches and we got a great reaction. We stole the show. People have said, and uh, so we plan on doing that again. And uh, so, you know, Obed Zucchini Fest on September 5th will, you know, look for us to be there. It's just going to be a, a busy summer. I mean, and yeah, you know, thankfully we're able to get back to that all after all of the COVID stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, and getting out there with the fans and everything. And, you know, when you all come out to these shows, <laughs> You may not see Donnie that much, but you definitely see me. Yeah, <laughs> you usually see me, but it's just me running around like a crazy person usually. There's a blur that goes by. And right. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, this is actually refreshing to see, like getting all these shows scheduled, and and because you know, like I said, we're coming out of COVID, and we, you know, when the 2020, we had big plans that we hadn't told a lot of people about. 
and you know we had the arnold and we had all this other stuff lined up that was was going to basically set us off and and it got took away basically because of covid and shut down so now we're starting over and, you know, we're ramping back up, you know, like I said, we got four shows lined up, you know, for so far. And, and, uh, like I said, we won't be at the Ohio state fair this year. And unfortunately that, that didn't work out. We had already, we had our uh, contract signed with them for 2020. And then we, again, with COVID it got shut down and, and they're starting back up this year, but we did not come to an agreement to, uh, come back there. So hopefully we can work something out with them and, and go back in 2023, but um, so that's still on the table. But, uh, you know, like I said, we're working with the Whitehall schools and, and uh, doing some fundraising. And that's kind of like what we like to do, like the event type stuff like that. You know, like I said, we're, we're already accustomed to the big events like the Arnold's and, you know, the Spe Expos Air. And then we did two days at the fair. So the big, you know, multiple day events were kind of yeah, it's kind of like our niche and we're accustomed to that but you know we want to get back to more like the fair festivals like the zucchini fest and some full throttle thursdays and and stuff like that as well as you know start working with some schools and some organizations and doing some kind of fundraising so you know we're going to try to start ramping it up you know we're we're you know accustomed to doing maybe you know you know, four to six shows a year, but we want to kind of ramp that up and go to either every month, every other month, or, you know, every month and see, just see what we can do with it. So I'm going to drop this out there just um, because I want to <laughs> and try to help you out. And what I wanted to say is if there's anybody listening or watching, if you know of somebody that would be interested in sponsoring some of these shows, yeah, reach out to us. I mean, it's great exposure for the name, for the brand uh -huh. People are to see your brand around the arena or the ring or somewhere. And they're, and they're definitely going to be announced by me during the shows, uh, you know, and there's different tiers of sponsorship, uh -huh. you know, find the sponsorship that fits you and we'll, we'll get you into the loop and make sure that you get the uh, recognition that you deserve. So, yeah. And we also hang on certain sponsorship levels. We also hang their banners up in the training center. Right. Yeah. We just had one of our sponsors sponsors from the Arnold and uh, we hung her banners up and they're right in their training center hung up right now. So, you know, yeah, there's different sponsorship levels and I appreciate that. Yeah. But, but definitely any and all help, you know, it all helps we'll work together. The, you know, the more people we can get working together, the more we can make happen. It's all about connections. Right. So, you know, if you, if you're interested, reach out to new Ohio wrestling. Uh, if you know of somebody that might be interested, let them know. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, it can't hurt to try and it, it's nothing but exposure. So it's a win-win. Oh everybody. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, that's a lot of the wrestling on the plate. And then as everybody knows, the training center, we do the WrestleFit programs. We got the Ohio Pro Wrestling Academy and they're training up some new students for us. And, uh, you know, we got some other things on the plate for the training center. So it's, you know, that's going on full, you know, full steam ahead. And, and uh, then, of course, you know, we're into the getting close to the summer. So that means, just, you know, the halfway to Halloween haunt season, you know, and like I said, I'm actually doing this weekend with the uh, Carnage Haunted House. We're doing like a little Easter Easter egg hunt type type haunt where you go through and hunt for Easter eggs while we try to get you. And, and uh, so that's been a lot of fun. Last night was a lot of fun. We're doing one again tonight. So yeah, we're getting into the haunt season. And uh, I, you know, I said last year we were part of the Obets uh, haunt. I don't know if we're doing that again this year. I'm assuming we we will, but we haven't really uh, reached and talked about it yet. So um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a lot of it's going to be a busy year. A lot of exciting things happening. Hey, <laughs> yeah, not a bad thing, huh? No, not at all. So that's all I've got. Uh... You know, we just wanted to do this quick show because we're going to be busy at Squared Circle Expo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to put it out there to come out and see the Squared Circle Expo, stop by the Wrestle Whore booth, say what's up. And, you know, like I said, the new Ohio Wrestling's got a lot of big shows coming up. So, you know, come out and see those and, and uh, you know, just stay tuned and keep posted. we got a lot of good stuff heading your way. Yeah, and if you come by the booth during SCX, um, and you're interested in WrestleFit, we can talk about that too. Yes. Like I said, Superman Onyx is going to be there. He's actually our WrestleFit trainer. 
So if you, you know, if you'd like to learn, and he's a certified personal trainer, he's been doing it, you know, a decade or so. And, and, uh, so we got the right guy in there to do it. So yeah, if you, if you want to learn how to get fit and you know, like I said, it's working for me, so I'm keep on doing it. You know, yeah, we can definitely talk about that as well. If you're looking to get trained, you know, we'll have information with the Ohio Pro Wrestling Academy. So, I mean, yeah, we're going to have all the bases covered. We're going to have wrestling and horror and all that. <laughs> so you tell Onyx he needs to come down here and train me. Yeah, there you go. He does online virtual training. He can get you on. He can get you set up for some online stuff. Yeah, that's a thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got. He did one class the other day. He, he trained a class at the training center, and he went and got in his car and sat out in his car and had like twelve people on there doing a online uh, online workout. So I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Look into. Yeah, I'm definitely talking to him about it this weekend. Okay. Um, so I guess that's, uh, that's going to be a wrap for yeah. this episode. Um, we will hopefully see you at the squared circle expo. If not, we hope to see you at one of our upcoming shows mm -hmm. uh, for my co-host Donnie Hoover. I am meat hook Jim. We are the wrestle horror podcast and we will catch you on the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>